That is pigmented. You seen that? Hey everybody, it's Jenny. And today I'm so excited to share with you another first impressions. It's of the Urban Decay Elements palette. This particular palette has been on my wish list since I first saw some sneak peeks of it on Trend Mood and Hot Fire Makeup. If we take a look inside, we can see it's mostly a shimmer palette with just a few mattes in here. And a majority of the colors are jewel tone colors. It's a very colorful palette. So I'm so excited to play with this and see how everything performs. Much like the Too Faced Then and Now first impressions that I did, I will be using a majority of the mattes in this palette to complete today's first impression look and see how they perform. But normally I would be going in with some other mattes that I have in my collection. They're a little bit more colorful to really make a popping eye look. This particular palette goes for $52 on the Sephora and Urban Decay website. It's also available on the QVC website. Without any further ado, let's get started. As always, I am priming my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. The first shade I'm going into in this palette is Antidote. I'm going to swipe that in my crease. The next shade I'm going to go into to deepen up the crease is Elemental. I'm just blending that one out a little bit, but I love the way that these mattes are performing. I'm going to attempt to do a halo eye using Sapphire Dream and Heavy Water. That is pigmented. You seen that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, I'm honestly speechless. <laughs> this is... This is so pigmented. <laughs> Time to go in with heavy water. Oh my gosh. Guys, I am in love with these shadows and I haven't even finished the look yet. I'm just gonna go ahead now and finish adding heavy water into the center of the lid. I'm going to clean that up just a little bit. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup, come back and do the lower lash line and inner corner highlight. My brows are already done, thanks to Sabrina. I will have a link down below to her Instagram, so please go check her out. For the lower lash line and the inner corner, I'm going in with Fool's Gold and Luna. I'm just going to join those two colors together at the middle of the lower lash line. With that completed, let's get on to some brush swatches and I'll give you my final thoughts. I'll be swatching these from the center out, starting with Luna. The next shade is Fortune Teller. Next to that is Silver Burn. Then we have Fool's Gold. Then we have Moon Rock. I'm going to build that one up just a little bit to see. This one is a shade Tectonic. It applies a little patchy with this brush, so I'm going to go back in just a little bit. This one is a shade Hex Remedy. Onto the outer ring, starting with the shade Ego. This one is a shade Heavy Water. It definitely applied better on my eyes than it does as a swatch, so just keep that in mind. Here we have the shade Sapphire Dream. 
This one is a shade Electric Air. Next to that is the matte shade Antidote. Moving down to the bottom here, we have Secret Keeper. That is one of the prettiest duochrome greens I have seen in a long while. I almost regret doing a blue look instead of green. Here we have the shade Earthbound. That shade's also just stunning. The next matte, Elemental. Here we have Volcanic. Next to that's the shade Lioness. I love the name of the shade. It's Fire Starter. It's a matte shadow with some sparkle in it. And lastly, but certainly not least, is Dreamweaver. I'm glad I picked that shade last because now I have a song stuck in my head. And those are the shades. I love this palette. It reminds me of the Urban Decay that I know. The eyeshadows in here all performed fantastically, especially that blue. I've had other experiences with blue eyeshadow that didn't go as smoothly as the application of this one over here. The one problem I did have is the fallout, but that was my fault for not putting something underneath the eye to catch that fallout. It's not a fault of this particular palette. I do want to try Fool's Gold on the lid to see how it looks since you can't see it as well on the lower lash line. And for the shade Luna, that one didn't show quite as nicely as I wanted it to, but it does show up. I can't wait to play with some of the other colors in here. Maybe I'll do a three looks, one palette or, or something to that effect, or a three looks with a companion palette so I can go and play around with some of the other mattes and show you what I mean by using a colorful matte. If you like shimmers as much as I love shimmers, you're gonna love this palette right here. You really are. If you're not that into shimmers or you don't tend to use very many shimmers on your lid, you don't like color, this is gonna be an obvious pass for you but I'm very pleased to see Urban Decay is doing what they did best years ago, and that's beautiful, colorful eyeshadows, the beauty with an edge as their slogan used to be. Hopefully this video helped you out a little bit if you were on the fence as to whether or not you wanted to purchase this particular palette. If you have purchased it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the palette. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, bye.